it's absolutely freezing today, hence why I've got this on and not my uh, normal wood turning outfit. Um, thanks for joining me in my shop. Um, I make quite a lot of things during the week and the weekends. Um, and some things I can make quite quickly, some things take quite some time. So I've got a few videos already that um, I've made projects on and I'm editing those. Um, so sometimes you'll see things a little bit jumbled up and I may say a few things that you'll think, hang on a minute, he didn't show me that or... So if you're wondering why sometimes that you might see a video um, and I might have said something like, oh, you know, like that video I did the other day using the same thing or using the same materials and you're thinking, hang on a minute, I haven't seen that one. That's probably why, because I got myself a little bit jumbled up um, and I might have put a project out that I was going to put out next week and I might have left that for the next couple of weeks. Anyway, just to clear up any confusion anyway. So, I've got this huge piece of chestnut wood. It's been hanging around in my shop for ages. It's absolutely massive and I kind of want to create a little bit more room on the floor really because I've got all my wood on the floor and this one sticks out. And I'm always knocking it and walking past it. So I thought, let's see if we can knock up some kind of a bowl with this. Just a straightforward, simple. I don't really want to make it simple. I want to make it different. But it's going to be a bowl, I think, because I don't think there's much else I can make from that. But then again, you never know. When I get it on the lathe, let's give it a bash. So I've got this face plate. Um, so I'm going to stick this on in the middle. Um, that's going to give us some stability with this piece because it is quite chunky. It's also a little bit all over the place as well. So that one's not going to go in properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the lathe first. I'm going to make I'm gonna, this is gonna, I'm gonna hollow this bit out, but, so I'm just gonna flatten this off here so that I can put the plate on this side. Um, so that's just in there for the minute, just to really, just to really allow me to get this, this, this bit flat here. All right, so I've got this up on the lathe, um, and where it is such a large piece of wood, it doesn't actually fit in my lathe in the normal way. Luckily enough, I've got quite a large lathe um, and it allows me to turn um, the headstock like this. So I can swivel the headstock around. So I take it from where I normally have it, which is here, bring it all the way around, because at the moment it's hitting the bars here. And then with this added on piece here that I've got on the end, which initially was a bit of a pain in the bum, didn't really know what to do with it. I haven't really used it because I don't normally turn such large uh, pieces. But this is what this is for. So I brought this all the way round. Um, and that's perfect now. Bring that round. And I've got this, move this from, from there to here. Um, and now I can turn this without having to worry about it hitting anything. So there we go. Let's give that a bash now. <laughs> See, that's why you always got to wear safety safety uh, masks and protection because that piece of bark that was on there just flew off over there. Um, so because of that, I'm going to get rid of this other piece of bark. There we go. We don't really need that anyway. Um, that's going to make it a lot easier and safer.
back to a little bit of normality now. The lathe back in the right place. Um, I've got it down to a little bit of a size that I kind of want to work with. Uh, it was a little bit awkward, to be fair, because it's a very awkward shape. So, um, and I've never really done anything this large. So, I was kind of sort of in between different tools and didn't really know, uh, you know, which one worked best. It was bumping around everywhere. The lathe was jumping everywhere. It was making a mess everywhere. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, um, okay, so what am I going to do now? Uh, I'm going to try and sort of get some sort of shape out of it now. Now, this is, this is supposed to be the bottom, but then it doesn't have to be the bottom. This could be the bottom. Um, so I think what we'd do is we just clean this up and then we'll put another uh, recess um, into here so we can reverse... And put it reverse it up and put it in the chuck that in like this like it's in the other end now um, I think that might be the better thing to do and then keep this as the bottom remember um, a few videos back I made a little uh, logo disc from leather I uh, got the idea from Jim Overton and um, and he basically puts his logos in the in the bottom here I've obviously got the brass ones and that's the ones that I use but I thought I'd do something different here this time and I thought I would use a, a leather um, logo and put it in the base here just to be different um, it's not something that I'll always do but I think it's nice to do it now and again so I've made a little leather logo, there it is, and again all that is is a piece of leather that I've bought um, and I've got myself an arbor press um, and uh, an actual, um, I'll show you, so I've got this here and I got this ordered in from Hong Kong actually. Um, and then that just imprints onto there. Um, makes a really nice look. So I thought I'd get that inputted, get that stuck in the bottom there. I think that might look quite nice. So I'm just going to cut the shape out for this, similar to the way I cut um, in for my little um, brass logos. I'll just do this for this logo disc. So we get that prepared, ready to get that in. I won't put it in yet, but we'll get it ready. Okay, so for shining the bottom of this bowl, I'm going to try the EE Ultra Shine. I haven't really used this, so um, I'm going to give it a bash. Not bad results, really, for that, the EE Shine. Um, I'm going to finish off, though, with a bit of burnishing cream. Um, I'm going to use this Maylands burnishing cream on the, on the bottom as well, just to finish it and see how that uh, see how that works. I've used this a few times. I don't want to spill it everywhere. 
um, and it's actually quite good stuff. As you can see when this goes in, that will sit quite nicely and give quite a nice finish. <laughs> This is the first coat of uh, sand in the sealer. I'm applying to this. I'm doing this with the lathe off because um, it is a lot easier to put it on in some cases without the lathe spinning. You can just make sure you get it worked into everywhere. a good amount of uh, sand and cedar here. You're definitely going to need a lot more sanding, I think. Alright, so there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it back a bit more than this. Um, I won't bore you with that, so I'll switch you off now and come back to you when I've done all that. There we go. So I've just applied my first coat of Yorkshire Grit. Um, this is cracking stuff, by the way, guys. So if you haven't got yourself uh, some, go and get yourself some. It's really fantastic stuff. There's a link below. And in fact, there's actually an always a link below in my description whether I use this or not. So um, grab yourself a tin. It's not that expensive. Uh, link is, say, down below, uh, and it really does make a big difference to your projects. So I've already applied some Yorkshire grit. Uh, I'm just going to uh, rub that in now. And uh, getting close to the final finish on this bowl. Pretty happy with the shape. I think it's quite a quite a nice shape, bit of a different shape than I've done before. There we go. And now what I need to do is uh, put the emblem in the bottom. Right, I'm just going to uh, super glue this uh, emblem in. enough there you go just leave that to set for a bit right finished this one um i hope you like it it's just uh meant to be a quick project i was in the shed today and uh kind of wanted to make something i've got a couple of other things going on at the moment um but this was just something that i say i saw this one was sticking out and kind of was calling for me to turn it. Um, so there's the emblem in the uh, bottom there, which is the leather logo. Um, it's not too bad. I quite like it, actually. I don't know if you can see that there. Gives a kind of a nice effect, I think. It's a bit different, isn't it? Uh, so when I did see, saw uh, Jim make these... Uh, I was quite impressed um, and I like the idea. 
So sorry, Jim, stolen that one for this project. Hope you don't mind. Um, I'll leave the link for uh, for Jim's channel um, below anyway. Um, but um, and he makes some awesome things as well. Um, so there's the bowl. Um, nice bowl. As you notice, I haven't finished it with any food safe product products. Sorry, um, haven't finished it with any food safe products, so you can't put food in it. But you know, there's lots of other things that you can put in there. Um, quite a nice shape. I quite like the shape actually. As I say, I haven't made one of these in this particular sort of shape. It's got some quite nice markings in it as well. Some nice sported uh, in there as well. I don't know if you can see that on the top there. And I've left left this little kind of uh, piece here. Um, just before I go, I wanted to just quickly introduce uh, I've got another sticker on my uh, wall or window, should we say, uh, from another good fellow uh, YouTuber. Um, he makes some fantastic things. You've got to go over and check his channel out. Um, I don't know his name, actually. Sorry, mate. Don't know your name. <laughs> but we've been talking. We talk quite a bit, actually, and comment on each other's videos and things. And he's a really nice chap. Um, and he makes some cracking things. So have a look. Let me just take you over there. There's his logo. You may have seen him or you may already be uh, subscribed. But uh, go and check him out. Because um, he's a, he, he does make some really great stuff. If you want to make my window and you've got a sticker, then send it to me in the post and I'll bang it up there and give you a shout out as well. Um, my address is actually in the descriptions below now uh, and you'll find it in my about me as well so you can ping me uh, your stickers and uh, love to stick uh, some more uh, fellow uh, youtubers um, on, on the wall here doesn't matter don't need to be woodworkers or anything like that you know uh, I love to support any other channels and uh, <coughs> if you guys want to send me anything um, I'll get it on the wall or if you want to send me a piece of wood or if you want me to do something, then pop it to me in the post. I'll have a look at it and see what I can do. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the project, and I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.